Hey guys, so this footage is from a tournament called the Asheville Summit. There were 68 entrants, which means this was by far the biggest tournament I've ever won. I didn't really get on stream until I was out of pools, but pools were pretty uneventful. I won with a mixture of Ike and Diddy, only dropped I think one game in pools. And then we moved on into the main bracket, which became top 16. Had one match against a Little Mac, who actually came very close to beating me. And then my next two matches were on stream. For, for Solo Jones, his combos, he, he, will, he will hit you three or four times every single time. Doesn't matter what move, uh, where it places you. And Krom being combo food, <laughs> will do that for you. But then when Krom gets in, you've all seen what his combos look like, because they've been on stream today. So this, this, this matchup is going to be a punish fest, and I think the eventual winner of it is going to be the one who plays better neutral. And we're just seeing already incredible damage, 85% already. Yeah, this is, this is so well done. Oh, up smash that call out. That was a 30 second stop. There's a, I mean, Ike's a heavy, and then Krom's got some kill moves. There's nothing gigantic, and he doesn't edge guard oh. solo. Solo does not. I mean, unfortunately, I Die feel like it. that's going to be the stop. Oh, oh barely. just barely fucked it. And if you just look at the tier list, I mean, you, you think we're in Bizarro World here. Um, such a good character. I mid-tier, maybe high-tier if you're high on him, but that is a almost three-star. Still, still living. And the dash pack not going to be able to survive that one, and... This is the second time on stream today we've seen a reverse counter pick, and this one was even less uh, weirdly high range uh, because of the stretchy limbs. Oh, that works out so clear. You see, the, the thing about if Diddy Kong has a banana on the ground, he outranges every character, every sword in the game, just straight up. Down tilt forward, and not gonna kill you yet. Yeah. Next time he does it, it's gonna yeah. kill. Forward tilt's gonna take it though. Yeah, Chrom recovery, very exploitable, and Solo Jones is all about that, having the progenitor to it. Considering, you know, the small amount of time he's been playing Diddy, I mean, doing it in top 16 is a bit of a move. Oh, he's in trouble here. Oh, but the oh. not gonna be able to make it back at a, at a distance. He's coming down to sort of force him in the air. Pop them cancel. This guy knows his stuff. Oh, yeah. No, Sol Solo Jones knows this game. And that's, that banana in Ryan's hands I think is gonna be very scary. Oh. Oh. That was aggressive. Oh, oh, he's going full barrel technician on him. And it's so tricky in the air. That's that's why Diddy, for as light as he is, is so hard to kill because how do you hit him whenever he's on point? The forward smash is going to take it. It's at, just barely. And that's going to be 2 0 over Ryan. Diddy Kong making a very, very good appearance. Yes. Three, two, one, go! All right. Game one here. Check out what he's doing. As you can see, he's already taken a lot, and he hasn't even. Neither of them have really even played the game yet. <laughs> that stock runs down. Yazi getting the first stock. Only 14% on him. We'll see. If he can pull this back, he probably won't. Yeah, Yazi is good. He's, uh... Taking advantage of the solar force to throw to. He's not able to stage much. He's not able to, um... Really oh! Him. That sucks. What a clean match of that. Oh my god. Jesus. Alright, so, um, this matchup is like real, real rough. This is rougher than I thought it would be. Yeah, 100%. Um, um I don't know what he does other than pray for a nair to hit. Yeah. And Yazi's, Yazi's not making mistakes. I, yeah, alright. Yeah, that. Uh, we got three stock. Wow. Okay, that is... I imagine this is an immediate switch to the on. Oh yeah, I imagine he's gonna swap. This is like, this, this... I couldn't stay. I would pick random before I picked Snake, uh, before I picked Ike from there. Real mad, and also I don't think that can happen, but he's staying Ike. Alright, he's showing some confidence here. And he's, he's very capable of adapting. Um, I have to say, I quite like how, uh, Yazi is... How much is 75! Bait and Hunter, too. Really 
Ooh. I don't know that yeah, he could have drifted back, but I, I don't blame him for going for a desperation option there. That was a rough one. That's an nice even, 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 even up stuff. Yeah, this is looking significantly better than first game did. Even spot. Pretty even in percent as well. Oh. I, I find this a little a questionable for that Yossi. Was a... he, he really went for that. <laughs> yeah, he really he was like... Nah, you're just gonna break him. Yeah. He's playing a very different uh, game plan for Ike here than he was last game. Yeah, uh, Part of that is probably just because he's able to, to be honest. Last game he wasn't given a chance. Oh yeah, 100%. He needs to be careful using it though. Oh! Yossi might punish him for it. But he ends up getting the better of that grenade trade. Um, you you cannot be to go back okay. but your opponent can. Well, I imagine that Yasi is not going back here. We'll see if uh, Solo will end up catching one of those neutral oh. divers. It'll be difficult to do that. Oh my god. Oh, that was game. I don't I I think he I think he was trying to do I wanna say he's trying to Oh Jesus, okay. What a call out there from I think Yazi was what Yazi's gonna end up doing. And um stuck on with the C4. Nope. Oh we waited the air dive yeah. That was smart. Oh, yeah, you got candy right there. Actually speaking of what you want. Like a piece. Cool. Professional commentary, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Case testing candy. So, um, did Solo go for it? Oh! That was a nice up smash. He, he, I, on Yavi. he, he knew he was gonna, he was gonna go for a grab there. Yeah, 100%. And up he did. And he had the Yavi pushing a button. Uh, he is Yavi. powering up. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, this is not good. Oh, oh no. Jesus. Yeah. A very interesting choice of up to you, That one it, hidden, hidden it is a strong move, stronger than I even than I thought. Hammer someone if they like start up a projectile on the other side of the stage. But if he's close and they fry something. Oh that, that's tough. That hurts to see. Yeah. Like every time he goes for an up smash, he just knows. He just knows that Yazi wasn't falling. Yazi wasn't falling for that up air after the grenade again. But yeah. He was a long line. That's, that's not the move to do it. I solo down. Uh, rough game. Rough see? match. Did a did a really good job powering through it for for yeah, what it was. I have to, Yazi yeah. played incredible with with how aware of that situation he was. He knew exactly oh, yeah. how to exploit that. Solo is a madman. But we stop that first game. I want I do want to say that Solo taking a game and making one uh making those look as close as they did it Ooh, was a feat. I thought he would have switched. I would have switched, but he didn't. He stuck through it. A couple of my matches and losers weren't on stream. So what you guys just saw there was winners semis, and then I dropped down to losers, and I played a dark pit named Wheatley and 2 owed him, and then a Game & Watch named Chatty and 3 owed him. And then after that came the rematch versus Yazzie in losers finals. The spirit of keeping... They are turning around, of course. They just thought of you put in your stuff. Oh, uh, solo one? Okay. Looks like they're just oh, this is oh, this game is your finals. This is solo in the air. Yeah. Okay, so solo beat chat. Okay. Alright. Well, now that we've figured out what the hell we're commentating on, let's get into this map. We have a snake and an Ike match, just like we had earlier. Very close match earlier in the uh, winner's bracket. Solo hoping to avenge that earlier defeat to Yazi. Both excellent players. Uh, both of my names actually. We'll get the snake up tilt to the hill left. So uh, he's making sure that any is aggressive. You know, any aggressive push by Solo is going to be caught by an explosion or by a bad position. Exactly. And that still will not be enough to take it. An up up recovery by Yazzie is still in it. But that up will take it. Keep the sense. 
that's a teammate up, and that uh, Yazu is not going to hesitate to extend the stock lead, and then wrap up the mark percent. 120 percent is not a great place to be against Snap. Right now, as I say that, we have the up tilt to that stock. This is a this is an interesting rematch because both these players played earlier in winner. It's solo losing. I don't know the exact name, but managing to get that kill. Um, he still has a chance here, although he has an excellent position with this one. And that will be it. Let's be down for the F the F tilt conversion. Yazzie taking game one here. Pretty convincing. So we're hoping, very much hoping that the Smash will prove a bit better for him here. Compared to that first round on PS2. Look at the smaller stage, only one platform, so that means that uh, Yazzie's gonna be able to put. Uh, Sardon knows where Yazzie wants to put the C4, but he also doesn't have a lot of space to set up grenades. Yeah. That Sardon can't just jump in and, you know, ignore. Well, it appears to be working so far. He's already got a lot of unanswered percent on continuing to get in and hit it with those powerful areas that Ike has. Already, snake, uh, he has a snake at almost 100%. Not a lot of that has been answered yet. Really good. Yeah. Full trouble after definitely just gonna poke through that shield, either dropping that or poke through, and just gonna take the stock one. The accompanying like, feeling the only one stock up and some attack at some time. But 55% off of the upper. How can I tell he's continuing? The thing about Snake, and I know this <laughs> as a Snake player, is that his disadvantage is he doesn't have a whole lot of uh, but Oh my goodness, with the C4 kill. And these players just... Uh, Once back. again with the F tilt, he needs to finish this stock off. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, he gets by, but then he hits him with the back. Let's see how he... The legs this time. And the F tilt again at the edge will take it. Solo Jones coming back from that pretty rough game one and uh, evening up this, the, uh, this here set 1 1. Now you see playing C4 on the platforms, preparing for um, use, preparing to use it as a nice space. Uh, one of the safest play the most optimal combo. It does. Oh, the C4 stick. He has to keep using that to break effect when you catch him out. Taking that first stock without a whole lot of damage. So you're absolutely right about that. It's about using the up to the weaker just by. Oh my goodness! What a pet snack. Yes, he is. Dominating the stock so far. And that seems so in a very comfortable position. He's going to use up these. Good job on getting those, but he has to re-establish himself, and he has to be able to go where he wants to go. He has to get snake. He has to put him on the road. He has to make sure that Yazzie doesn't feel comfortable enough to put up another track. Man, just take that, that first stock of Yazzie's with that hat here. Right here. Um, Lilat, like I said, he is his hat on first name photos. It is an excellent stage with all the platforms, just for grenades, set up all sorts of things. Yeah, he's putting that on full effect right now. Six percent. Yeah, he wants again, and we haven't seen. Look, it seems so far that each of these games, that player just sort of takes the lead at the beginning and doesn't just really let go of it. It happened last time with Solo, before that with Yazzie, and Yazzie once again demonstrated a pretty dominant position here um, in this, this third game. Now, that back here, Mike, there's an excellent opportunity to try to even it up here. You can manage to get the kill. And that will do it. Game 3 is continue playing. So managing the funds opens again. And that's keeping Yazi at the uh Oh, and the F yeah, and the Nair into the up air will take it. A, a lack of execution at the end. It's got to keep. So going, yes, going into his has to make sure that he saves his mes, that enough mental energy in order to play this uh, game all the way through. Uh, game four. Oh, we have a C4 stick. That might be. Oh, the air dog appears to have. What an, an excellent up air to take that first stock of my solo. That's a great first stock. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 
pet and sweet pet. There's quite a lot of math involved, but uh, we will be able to combo down throw and two forward spells. And then uh, point marks can be more percent. Oh, and what an excellent air dodge three by Solo to take that second stock. He has two stocks up, and he is in an excellent position to close out this loser in the finals and get into grands. Really excellent play, uh, really excellent play there. And my God, the momentum is just continuing. There's this uh, Yazzie is in very much in disadvantage here, and Snake struggles in that. And uh, Solo knows that he is pushing it. Oh, he manages. I think that might have been the tilt of the wide uh, lap there. Will we see a three stock here? We no, we will not <laughs> face the right way on that one. Why is Lila able to give Snake Mane to embed it? And that F tilt once again will take it. Solo avenging his earlier defeat in winner's bracket against Yazzie. Three to one and making it to Grand. Folks, we've had an amazing tournament here, and it all comes to an end in this next match. So after beating Yazzie in Losers Finals, I was now up against Frappe, who, for some context, is the best player in my region. We have played against each other quite a few times, and going into the set, I was 0-5 against him, and the last time we played, he basically six-stocked me. There was also a $500 prize pool at this tournament, and the difference between first and second was $75, so this was basically a $75 money match. This was honestly a really good set and it's grand final so i'm going to leave it in in its entirety instead of cutting out highlights so i hope you guys enjoy it is a pretty amazing ending it's gonna be an excellent set beginning on ps2 excellent neutral stage already two super sounds back in guardian and my god my god frappe is not here to play around he keeps just getting racking up 50 percent on answer in the first few seconds of the match already responded. Both these characters, oh my goodness. We're in for an excellent match here for sure. And you really gotta consider the fact that Solo just came from playing a snake, which is a really good zoning character, so perhaps the experience of that will inform him on how to get past trappers uh dense fire and other things like that, yeah. Phantom, fire. And an excellent back here to take that first stock. Solo striking first blood here at Grand Finals. Um, hopefully the experience will not be this similar, as you said. Uh, Zelda and Snake have not totally different game plans. And speaking of Zelda, what an excellent forward air uh, with a sweet spot to answer that stock. We are back to you the kids. And here on PS2. We're in a neutral so far. Both characters are tempting to find their advantage. Once again, uh, Frappe's game plan here, I think it's sort of what Yazoo was trying to do. So, uh, use projectiles, deal damage, keep uh, Solo out from using uh, Nair, other Ike's combo starters. He has powerful aerials to do a lot of percent damage, a lot of knockback, a lot of them can kill the right percentage. Um, especially since Zelda is not all that heavy. Um, so, to use help oh, speaking of F tilt at the ledge, will take that. So, Frappe's gameplay here, gameplay here, the game plan here <laughs> is definitely to try and zone out with Phantom Guardian and uh, like other, um, other moves. And Zelda's defense is a lot, is a bit different than Snake's, where Snake is more about placing uh, looming threats and, you know, controlling space in that way. Zelda's a bit more of a walling character where Zelda's threats are tangible, they're lingering, they're there, and, you know, they're not, like, the kind of things that you have to watch the timing on. Takes it again with a tipper fair, but all down 170%, and as I say that dash attack will take that first game. Solo enjoying momentum i think coming out of that excellent uh, losers run against yazi uh, playing with the demon that took him into losers in the first place i feel like i could call for aerials um, combo, that com combo into each other that can be dangerous if solo can get something started with a nair or the grab um we saw that last game and we might see it again this game already 45 unanswered first time by Frappe here. And using those Guardians more, using that Fin Fire more. I think the, uh, the bigger stage is already benefiting from that. No, no, he didn't. Frappe had an absolutely amazing run. 
Um, this thing's incredible. Isn't it? And speaking of, what a beautiful tipper they are going to take that first stop. And already solo striking back, going hard off stage to try to take that stop back and grab it. Well done, it's not going to be seeing much about it though, because he's coming in, he's in the corner, he's going to blow with that neutral boot, and forward tilt, they're trying to connect, get a kill off the side, so they're not going to be able to combo that, it's a bit too late for that, I think. But he's doing a good job, only 29% of like that he should go anymore. But he's, <laughs> he's not actually getting hit by too many too many like combos or anything. He's getting hit by straight hits, which is not terrible. And he's he needs to close up his stop soon if he wants to play. And speaking of an excellent bear, one of Ike's best cool, fast, quick kills easy. He's back on, uh, back in a fairly even match, although Frappe with a pretty good percent lead here. Now it's his chance to sort of exploit, uh, Frappe's sense of urgency right now. Frappe gonna be feeling a little bit of pressure to, a little bit of pressure to get this stock off soon, so like, he can establish a lead. But Solo Jones can sort of take advantage of that urgency and that pressure. And you know, take uh to the ride with those uppies out of shield, catching the spin, catching over something just a little bit. Look at that dash attack they just got. I accept another character that lacks for high damage, high power moves. And if you get the few of them uh starting to stand up and they can take away the percent pretty quickly. Um, I mean I know the percent's are a lot bigger for um solo than for traffic, but like, or the stock was taken. It was still fairly even because I can still, as I say, easily kill um, at that percent. So we're back to a perfectly even game here in game two. Um, probably doing a much better job, I think, of doing damage and taking stock so far. But immaculate. Oh, oh no! That's unfortunate. And Solo gonna take it. Solo will take it that, too. Which means that he has two. Oh, we in this first set on his way towards a reset. Frappe just need, Frappe needs to win all the next three to look like that. Uh, we're back on Kalos, looks like. Um, looks like uh, Frappe thinking that uh, you know, the SP happened. I'll come back. The, the game plan was working very well for him, so if he can avoid mistakes like that, yeah, he definitely has a chance. Um, already getting off to an excellent percent lead. Getting in and hitting uh, his goal quite nicely. Already up to 100%. Already doing excellent. And that M Smash will almost take it. Oh, that didn't fire. Oh, yeah. That is snipe off the stage. Chris Kyle, American Sniper here tonight. Already taking that first stop without much percent draw. Traffic showing us why he, he didn't even drop a game until he got the winner's final today. Absolutely. Immaculate Solo. Doing a really good job keeping Solo in a box right now. Not letting him get too high up. Not letting him get too far to the side. The Sagi and the Phantom. And he's gonna... He's keeping him where he wants to be. And then he follows the aerials when, they make, when Solo makes the middle hop. Inside. Mm -hmm. the phantom. Back to the Continuing to wall solo out quite effectively. Using those phantoms a bit more and I think it's paying off. Already in a position to take another stock and extend that already very dominantly. Frappe is doing an excellent job of uh, coming back on this. Uh, this is, that might be it. Back for yeah, the back throw will take it. Frappe at three stocks, not a whole lot of percent, although this is Ike we're talking about. So definitely a very good position. Frappe showing that even though he's down two games right now, he's very much still in this set. Very much showing us why he's in the winners for the, in the first place. Forward tilt, gonna be able to take that. that forward he's tilt at the edge is an excellent option, and Solo keeps using it against Frappe quite nicely. I a little stock up but it's going to try and wreck this percent down so it's not going to be able to connect into the back row. And he keeps on falling with these uh, arrows and 
Trappe seems to have that card and has been carrying the uh, Fallen Aerials pretty well. Yeah, doing an excellent job of avoiding uh, combo starters, those Fallen Nairs especially. Uh, I can use those to combo into all sorts of things spending on. Oh my goodness, what an amazing fair from Frappe taking the game free, reminding us very much he is still in this set. Uh, we'll see if Solo with the counter pick can manage to close and get this reset, but the way Frappe was playing this last game, I don't know if that's going to happen. Two absolutely amazing players here fighting for the top two spots. Uh, we are very excited for this game to continue. Frappe needs two more without taking a single loss in order to close out his rapid run, and Solo Jones needs one more win in order to reset the bracket and put uh, Trakai into loses with him. So a bit of a high stakes game. Solo very much looking, hoping that uh, now that he's off power that he'll uh, have the opportunity to perhaps um, use those platforms a bit more and uh, take it almost takes a little dash attack at the edge. I'm hoping very much that he can force this reset here in this game. Crap is doing his best to avoid that happening. Here we go. F2 will not be enough to take it. Most of pass the Ike, and right now they're just sort of throwing young cutters into uh, the back there. Draw the back there. Yeah. So in a pretty good position right now. Already racking up more damage, trying to get as much as possible. Continuing to put the pressure on. Get inside Frappy's guard. Like we've been talking about, this is what this is about. It's a sword character versus a zoner. Sword character's got to get inside, hit with combos, do damage, set up things. But Zoner wants to keep him out as long as possible. And what an amazing carry. Frappy's carries have been on, on amazing so far this set. Back Another back air. My we goodness. We might see a reset here, folks, if Solo keeps playing this way. He continues to put the pressure on Frappe. Of course, I'm not going to take that. I, say that. I, I should stop saying such things. Complicated curse and all that. Still up a stock and very much uh, capable of getting this to reset. Once again, that up B on the ground, proving to be a pretty good move to get a rank of damage. Gets a down, a down throw, and that's Ike's combo throw. And so far, doing a pretty good job of juggling. Like an excellent carry there. We have here a very good situation for Solo here. Um, although, uh, something we have to talk about, I think, is the up B. And, uh, how well Frappe has been using that to avoid potential edge guard situations. And speaking of edge guard situations, is edge guarding himself right now. And with another an excellent fair, we'll take that. But 115%, he has to play very carefully if he doesn't want to reset here. And the forward play, air will not be, air will not be yes. enough, but what? still very. Yeah, that F tilt will. But we are seeing a reset here, folks. Solo Jones. 3 1 in the first bracket. Oh my god. <laughs> stick, you stick to your guns, you, uh, you, change, you change some minor stuff, but otherwise, they seem to. Probably seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah. All those games were close. Okay, far bait for me. The reason he's up there in winners, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm down here on the commentator's table. Very much for a reason. Uh, now, Solo, off to an excellent start getting in, doing some excellent damage. Uh, this is incredible. Solo, like I said, got the momentum behind him, but Frappe has been playing absolutely incredible all day with that Zelda. So I uh, feel very excited to see, of course, what happens in this best oh. of five. Oh, very nearly dodged that eruption. That could have easily been the stock there at that percent. Um, yeah. Remember, folks, this is a reset, so another best of five um, will decide the winner of Astral Sun. Our first ever Astral Sun. Yep. And. Hopefully not our last. This is trying to be a very good tournament. Got some really good turnout, and we're seeing Frappe doing a really good job of keeping uh, Solo in that field. And oh my goodness, we saw that in the wrong way, but it's gonna be a really good.
good job. We saw a lot of that upbeat uh, up combo. It's an excellent Zelda uh, finisher. Speaking of finisher, F Smash will take it after the uh, the upbeat with uh, Rapid taking the first stock here in the second in the bracket reset. Uh, that that upbeat uh, teleport uh, is an excellent finisher uh, of Zelda. Actually, it's uh, that, that was uh, I believe they used in Smash Four, from what I remember. Oh, gonna be able to take that stock. Only 50% on that. Uh, and well, we're doing an excellent job of closing that stock up and taking more yeah. damage. These platforms are such a difficult spot to be on. Yeah. It's such a sticky place. So I think a better turn and just get stuck on them. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Down tilt of the forward area and be able to take that stock. So that's the lead. Two to one. Rapids, I don't think I don't think he's missed a single forward air. He's hitting those tippers. Forward and back air. Absolutely exceptionally in taking stock. Oh unfortunately. That is unfortunate. I would think so. He's still very much in this though, with his even percentage. If he doesn't let him get to his head, he's got a good he's still got a uh, very good chance. But as I say that solo is going in and he is looking for blood with those moves. Forward air off the edge. Once again, that the teleportation I think really is helping Trap uh, avoid central life guards from solo. It's a, it's a very safe recovery when he's right. Trap is obviously an amazing um, command of that teleport. Oh, that bounce would, it would be it could have been it. So playing very patiently, not throwing out these combos ill advised because in order to maintain the advantage, not let Trap uh, Air any sort of opening. Forward tilt can be putting off stage, just barely hitting the foot. And but the up tilt again will take it. Solo taking the first of this bracket reset. I must move forward. I'm gonna see another big Ooh. Go with a Roy. Switching to Roy, Frappe is. It's very, very fun. Change of events. It's gonna be a very awesome match. Let's get into it. Town City. Interesting choice. Small, or a bigger top class zone. And layout is gonna be very low. It's just gonna change up the playstyles on the fly. Uh, but Kraken having a very good Roy. You know this conversions, especially with platforms. Already off to an excellent start, a lot of unanswered percent so far. Um, I'm really interested in this matchup actually. They're both sword characters, both of them obvious both of these players obviously are incredible with these two characters. Uh, ooh, the super armor will, will take that, oh my god, with the eruption. What? Yeah, Alright, crappy, crappy, striking right back. Back to a neutral two-stock situation here. Uh, what an explosive match already. Uh, much like how Roy just exploded on the side of the stage. My god, 65 and 2% now. Frappe pulling out the Roy, and it seems to be doing quite well for him so far. Bill has not taken damage this percent, and a whip Aether will lead to Oh my god, that was a zero to death. What a stock by Frappa. He is very much proving that he is still in this game despite the reset, despite that first match. 52% are you wrapped up. Just so stop that safe, but he failed with that. Unfortunately, as I'm talking, he's having to take that. We keep, we keep doing that, don't we? These conversions by, by Frappa are absolutely incredible. But that's what I really love about this about what this game is really turned into. It's become so fast it's such a uh such more melee than it all, thank god. It's it's like uh, it's just like that. Uh, just barely stock dodging that. Backpack and we'll just take that. Oh look very much in this game. Even percent we're gonna be seeing both of them just playing around each other's fields. And uh solo the way that the opening. 25% con. And neither pair are going to be getting too much off their grabs. That's why they're going to be sort of relying on that shield, because neither pair has a kill throw or any kill combo. But once again, yeah. that jab to back air will take it. So Frappe striking back quite nicely. Uh, game two, we are 1-1, one, one, folks. Uh, anybody's bracket here. 1-1 one, 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 one. Yeah. 
Watch this goddamn set of high. Yes, go! so we're sticking with the big stage. We're not entirely surprised. Uh, we've only really seen a lot of. Oh, almost getting the counter, but unfortunately we missed time that time. You gotta count on the downwards. Oh, <laughs> two things in a row. Very funny there. Uh, Frappe is still doing excellent here, um, managing to continue to hold a percent lead. Um, as I, why do I say anything? Why do I bother saying anything? They're just gonna do that. Luckily, we can confirm that both these players have controllers and their buttons are working because they have already wrapped up 10 percent of each other, <laughs> and it's just it's, they're going at each other. Excellent up air, excellent up air. Guys, and they're just holding forward, holding forward. They run forward, they heal, <laughs> they aerial. We are death mode playing the game, folks. We can confirm that. We aren't going to say anything else, less we do. Dash shield. Aerial defense. So that is the fire engine place. So true. That we are here for. That, that after... back air will not be quite enough to take it. Parries it? Will that be enough? Forward smash will yeah. take that off the side. 44%. Solo continuing to get punished with those upbeats on stage. Traffic putting it to good use. He's gotten a kill off of it. He's gotten a lot of percent off it as well. Um, Traffic hoping that with a good conversion, he's make, already making up most of that percent deficit. Uh, very much. The eruption not gonna work as well as it did last time, unfortunately. Uh, Solo doing the X, uh, playing it safe and managing to stay uh, snap to leg with the ether. Uh, definitely what you want to do. Um, obviously, up you can be kind of a, a big risk. Oh, taking it with that up tilt uh, on the getup. Very nice. Solo in the lead here. Got an excellent chance of uh, taking another game here. Now we're just going to be seeing, uh, hopefully from Solo, we're going to see some of that bread and butter and falling into combos, just like that. And from Frappe, I feel like we're going to start seeing Ooh, all that like that. And hopefully we're going to be able to see, a, hopefully we're going to be able to see a kill soon, maybe a job back here, so they can get started on this next step. He's definitely looking for something. He needs something. But Solo will take that with an up air. Solo is one game away from not only getting the bracket reset, but winning that bracket reset. Will he be able to pull it off? We'll find out next game, folks. It's not like the war doesn't work for him. It's just that you get used. It's just that you want, you want to keep your opponent on their feet. And final destination, dramatic music. This is it, guys. This is. Oh, well, not necessary. But he's on the ropes. He's on the ropes. It could be it. The front has been doing very good so far. He's going like. He's hoping some, for something that. for something that I know. This music place is really interesting. <laughs> I think it's appropriate. I quite like it. It adds a, it adds a certain ambiance, I think. And of course, literally called Final Destination. So it'd be very appropriate, as I'm sure the solo drone wants to be managed to finish it off. But that has a few things to say about that. That's that I think we'll just take that. So looking at kind of wants to go out so can finish off this stuff. Managing to restrain himself from edge guarding us, so uh, it's rather futile against I uh, think. Futile against uh Mary's win. <laughs> Zelda's up being. It's been a while since I've played Zelda books. Uh, looking for that F tilt that served him so well, but instead of crapping, we'll take it with that F combo. This, folks, this might be a nail biter, folks. With these two players of this caliber, they've been playing so well this entire game. Taking it with the dash attack, where we're set back to a pretty neutral stock setup. And only 32% right now. And uh, this is solo. Get these combos in. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Basically, brought it back. That up again. Continue to use those upbeats. It's working. It either works very well and gets them a lot of percent, or of course, uh, it gets punished. Well, that. Nope. Ooh, that was very close, though. That is a powerful attack, that, 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 uh, that teleport. Got the grab, the release, oh, but the back it will take it. Ill advised, uh, that was 
a very in that was an interesting mutual. It was it was very expected and it was a little bit it was too predictable. And you could tell Crab I sort of just snuffed that out. I realized that I didn't update the output on me. So I think they did guess it was Zelda. <laughs> We apologize if anybody was, uh, woo, better watch that shield crafter. Hoping to do as much damage as possible and doing a very good job of it so far with some excellent Zelda combos. Um, I beat both of these players. Crappy, again, did not drop a game until winner's finals this entire tourney. Solo has been, got knocked in top eight down to losers uh, and got the reset. So either player. <laughs> And we've seen Solo get 50% get Oh, yeah. We've not seen yet. Solo get 50% with, like, a combo, so we're not gonna... I mean, I don't think that it's worth saying, like, that he's out of this, or not that he has a lot of ground to make up. He does, but it's all ground that he can't make up. Almost gets hit by that phantom. <laughs> I won't, uh, I certainly won't call it one way or the other until we see the results screen, my friend. This, the two of these players, uh, anything can, can happen. Um, Traffic looking to close out with a, oh, gets the grab, hoping to end of Din's fire. We'll take that. Folks, we are in. This is the last match. 2-2. Two -two. We got the bracket reset. It all comes down to this, folks. Ike and Zelda are going to be our characters for the last game. Ike and Zelda are very appropriate. Both of these players mains, I believe. They've been, they've been playing the entire bracket. I am so excited for this. I want to see if Solo can get the reset. Not only get the reset, but win the whole game. It all comes down to this, folks. Let's see what happens. Already starting out. Excellent neutral. Uh, dancing around each other. Waiting for that opening. Gets that down throw. And already attempts to convert it into driven up here. Mm. Well, right now, Traffic seems to be doing a good job boxing out. Uh, what a beautiful pair there. there. And, and I feel like the Phantom. I feel like the uh, Pokes can only benefit uh, Zelda just because of the fact that the projectiles mean that. Uh, and the slope of the And that backer will take the first stock there with. Uh, Traffic very much hoping, of course, to get that stock back as soon as possible. Uh, looking for it with that uh, fair, looking for it. Oh, and we get it with an F smack. No percent taken. We're back to even. Both players, two stocks left. We're here in game five of the reset of grand finals. You know, we're saying in the chat, both are boon boys. Incredible scene up there. Incredible players, as we can clearly tell with these two. Almost amazing. takes it. Goes yeah. for the third up there. And he's gonna try and get him off the ledge. Four up there's like half the lead. Four he unfortunately missed time that forward tilt. And he's gonna be able to jump around with these platforms. And Rafa is saying, you know what? Oh, the up air will take it. Solo Jones, excellent. Last stock situation for Frappe here. It all comes down to this tournament rides on whether Frappe can get that stock back quickly. Only one stock left. You can't afford to make any mistakes. I'd be a little nervous if I were Frappe. Oh, I think you definitely should be nervous here. Solo is out. It's obviously not going to let him get away with anything. Already getting some combos. Having trouble landing. We're seeing the spot. Oh, dodge. that back air. Catch him off stage. Put him on the ledge. Thank God. So much on answer for time. going to try and follow again. Oh, Ooh, almost that back air. Could have been it. And up smash. That's up smash. We'll take it. From Solo Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion of Asheville Summit, Solo Jones, taking it in the reverse. Oh my God! What With an amazing, what coming, an amazing grand finals! Coming from losers. Coming from losers, getting the reset. Game five of the reset manages to win. Oh my God! What an amazing finish to an amazing tournament.